From News Channel 7, time for 7 First Alert Weather. I was saying this weekend that the weekend weather kind of just hit me all of a sudden, and I thought, wow, this is really, really cold. But in comparison to last weekend, when we were in the low 60s, it was kind of a fast and furious fall off in temperatures in just a week. Now we're talking about it being cold enough for snow, and the potential exists for our first measurable snowfall tomorrow, which would be right on par with when we typically see our first measurable snowfall. We're talking about at least a tenth of an inch or around a tenth of an inch or more for the Boise Airport. That typically happens around November 22nd, which is today. The earliest measurable snowfall for Boise, October 10th back in 2008. The latest we waited all the way until January and last year it was a couple of weeks early, but still right on time for those snow lovers that like to see it well before for Thanksgiving. High pressure has been in control today and really through the weekend. That's what gave, gave us all the sunshine and warming sunshine at that today because we didn't really have the wind to add the wind chill or take that real feel down. The sunshine added maybe a few degrees to how it felt outside, so it felt warmer than it actually was. High of 50 for Boise today. Here is our quick moving weather front that's going to bring us showers and mixing with a little bit of wet snow at times for the valley location. Scattered snow showers for our mountains. So you see that start to make its way into the west end of the valley as early as 6, 7 a.m. And it starts to change over to this pink shading here, which would indicate a mix, a rain snow mix or wet snow. It's not accumulating, most likely, maybe on grassy surfaces at the temperatures around 32 to 34 degrees. But once you're talking mid to upper 30s, it's melting, especially on paved surfaces. So we're not worried about the roads here in the valley locations. As you head up in elevation, though, it will be cold enough that there will be some slick spots on the roads. In fact, as we head into the afternoon, there's also the potential for a quick snow squall, kind of a thunder snow shower in very isolated in nature in our mountain locations that could reduce visibility for a time and then clear on out. We see some sunshine, so some travel concerns tomorrow. Just use caution. It's not a big snowstorm or anything of that nature, but it is the potential for use caution. How much snow is on the way? It's really not a lot. As I mentioned before, quick moving system. It's out of here quickly and it doesn't leave us with much. In fact, as I run this timeline ahead into the weekend, these numbers don't change. So slight chance of snow showers making it into the mountains as early as this weekend, but it looks like we'll have to wait until at least the middle of next week for more snow at our ski areas. Coating to two inches for many of our mountain valleys and for our ski areas, maybe three inches, maybe four. So cross your fingers if you're a snow lover. Our highs today, as I mentioned before, 50 for Boise, 51 in Mountain Home, 46 for Caldwell and Nampa. And our highs tomorrow will be pretty similar to where we were today. Shave off a few degrees for Boise and Mountain Home. However, you almost can throw out those numbers and dress for these numbers because there will be a, br a brisk sort of blustery breeze in the afternoon, making it feel like the numbers that you see here. So here's a look at the seven day forecast. Tomorrow looks to be the only day this week where travel could potentially be impacted at times. Again, it's not a do not travel type of day. It's just a use caution type of day. And Thursday looks dry, but cold for the turkey bulls in the morning hours. Also, I know this is uh, Mark's favorite graphic. Morgan, it is. I'll show it one more time too. Uh, you know, I have the red light for tomorrow. That would mean a no go, mm -hmm. but you might find that it's so so through the better part of the day. So if it's t tomorrow or not, you'll be okay. Okay. <laughs> Most people care about Friday. That's when they start decorating. At least that's what we there do. There you go. And the rest of the week, there you get go. lit. I know there a lot go. of people that can't wait to get to that last one, the get lit part. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. I know a lot of people.